Mohammed Sahil Mundal from Darul Huda Islamic University. So, uh, Sahil, please come to the mic. Let's take the mic. Join me in welcoming uh, Muhammad Sahil, and he will be going to present his paper, Digital Communalism and Misrepresentation in Film Industry, an Analysis of Case Studies in India. Okay, I welcome Mr. Muhammad Sahil Mundal. Please come. Thank you for this great opportunity. Uh, am I audible, sir? Yes, audible. Uh, this online seminar, first, I am very happy to be here and present my uh, work in front of you. So, without uh, further introduction, I would like to engage with my presentation. And now I am sharing my experience with you. And is it visible to everyone? Yes, visible. Please carry on. Thank you, the organizer of this. Uh, wonderful session, religion, extremism, and the digital aid. Really, it is very relevant to this time. And relevant to this, uh, my topic is digital communalism and misrepresentations in film industry, an analysis of recent trends in India. Uh, so uh, recently there have been, uh, the background of my research is that uh, recently uh, mass media uh, productions across the world, especially in India, uh, because it is not only in India, but all over the world, there has been a orientalist tendency of uh, representation that saw a violent surge in unleashing Islamophobia and misrepresenting the Muslim community while gaining institutional promotion. And a different also reports like uh, Human Rights Watch and reports of Reuters, Al Jazeera, these reports say uh, increase of violence against minorities, especially Muslims. So in this or I have tried to uh, find out the link between violence against uh, uh, Muslims and other communities, especially Muslims, especially in India, and the role of media. Media played a role in this surge of uh, violence against Muslim communities. Though it is not a new stereotyping strategy of a specific population, the current media communalism with biased and unauthentic stories make a palpable impact among countrymen, sustaining the plural public of the nation in this information age, which can be said a age of misinformation due to globalization process. And with this background, Objectives of my research is to explore the contemporary narratives of anti-Islam and anti-Muslim portrayal by the film industry, which tend to precipitate and spoil badly the mutual mass perception against a, a specific community. Secondly, to specify the communal elements and conspiracy theories behind this with analysis of recent film, The Kerala Story to investigate the role of different institutions like political parties in fielding this negative representation and promoting them, to explore the significant role of current digital media mechanisms in establishing a biased social stereotype of Muslim community in India, thus spoiling a communal chorus among the countrymen. So with these objectives, I have followed a simple methodology with analytical and descriptive methods combining both some numerical and qualitative data. And my primary source is the film itself, which is the Kerala history. And as a support of my work, I have used some secondary resources like film reviews, research articles, relevant news and reports. And at the same time, I will note cross uh, 
other means of communalism uh, and my research my work will be limited only to communalism only through film industry uh, for a them thematic construction media communalism in general has been regarded other factors like politics literature and communalism through this uh, media are not focus of this work so to introduce Uh, media plays a major role in any kind of social maneuver due to its psychological and environmental manipulation its presentation directly affects the mass culture where social theory and mass communication are related and uh, actually these facts are established by previous researches also similarly it becomes a central catalyst in both promoting a social story of pluralism and or communalism It means media can play both role it can promote pluralism at the same time it can also invoke communalism and make differences between uh, other uh, coexisting different communities especially it is very a uh, matter of concern in a multi uh, cultural and multi religious multilingual country like india and also multiple earlier research has shown that media representation of indian muslims i am repeating again it's not only in india but this trend has been uh, widely popular across all countries but my uh, research only limits india as well as global context yes i have also mentioned here severely labeled negative connotations against the community which boil islamophobic or negative attitude among the audience this trend of communal representation of media has gained momentum since 2019 as the right wing politics gets a mandate whip so how media representation and disinformation happens before we go to the role of media in promoting communalism uh, it is uh, it is indispensable to understand the uh, how media fuels mis um, uh, misrepresentation uh, so uh, at first there is a uh, it's a, uh, uh, at first it's necessary to understand the misinformation and disinformation Uh, which i have outlined here like uh, like communication is more than mere interaction which takes place in non living organizations as well rather it is about intent and outcomes so when a information is fabricated and spread with intention and outcomes it become disinformation but with uh, abundance of information and it is whether intentionally or unintentionally uh, spread and fueled uh, to across the masses it is misrepresentation and and due to this the new age uh, jeopardizes of misinformation and dis disinformations are boiled and uh, propelled with the very purpose of setting some agendas and propagandas so now how media mis uh, representation promotes communalism we saw in previous slide uh, media plays how media plays to spread mis Uh, this by misinformation media represent any community or any society with its deformed faces now the same media with this process how it uh, plays a role to represent a society and spread misrepresentation and related communalism biased representation is parallel to misrepresentation which is on key factors fueling communalism by widening divisions between people parties sir? on the basis of it. yes sir you have uh, five more minutes okay, okay i will uh, go fast now uh, on the basis of ethnicity religion language culture so mis uh, misrepresentation happens media bias is not only creating communal fissures in a multicultural country like india but also breaking down its pluralistic fabrics a report published in journal of philosophy and social sciences uh, uh, it says is that media sharpens the divisions of people on the basis of religion and keeps communal problems so misrepresentations uh, bring these kinds of consequences communal violence turns into a we then relation the communal violence is in remote areas uh, says that it's less uh, affected by media so islamophobia now how media communalism uh, affects islamophobia and spread it to the world 
as we know after 9/11 though it is not starting because the western media started um, the misrepresentation of islam uh, by western scholars is not after 9/11 it was early started but after 9/11 it took like a legitimate phase and western media like a report says uh, they produced news stories and news articles associated with muslims and islams which were disrespectful and have relation with fundamentalist and terrorist consciously profess that islam has some connections with middle eastern culture and muslims jihad was presented in the antipathetic method judged that islam and muslim communities are a prominent threat to culture and security of the western society encourages the concept of us and them which is a separate fear uh, uh, for community and facilities now with the rise of public operated social media platforms like facebook instagram and twitter this trend has been very increasing and emergence of media communalism in india is actually a political impetus which is sometimes used as a electoral strategy and other kinds of uh, to get political benefits now the antagonistic stereotype of muslims in indian ministry is a no is a we called a new trend because early the uh, indian film industry mostly the bollywood represented a uh, wide uh, diverse scopes in field of history power politics crimes culture religion etc and it uh, always represented society but uh, indian film industry has a legacy of harmony and social realities but with the passing of times and changing of political powers national tradition change uh, even muslims were also on those on that legacy muslims were also represented well like uh, for instance uh, they muslims history were regarded as a national pride indian films like anarkali mughal azam and mumtaz mahal demonstrated the rich traditions of indian muslims but a rapid change happened uh, in recent century and which uh, tried now the representation of muslims tried to demonish the uh, muslims identity with uh, antagonistic stereotyping of muslims is still now continued a recent research uh, a, a research with a sample of 30 uh, films selected uh, published in the uh, tjr international research journal it says that only uh, 13 percentage of film show positive view uh, positive aspects of muslims while 13 percentage of mixed means positive and negative at the same time a high rate that uh, 73% of films uh, represent muslims in a negative view point and what are the key elements of communalism in films in this point i have analyzed the kerala story which was recently uh, uh, released with a very uh, widespread reactions in, in india and across the country some major angles where muslims are negatively portrayed includes their historical vilifications means uh, social otherization and communal operations and this film directed by sudeep tosen was criticized as a propaganda film to demonize muslims in multiple reviews and by experts uh, uh, it was uh, this film labeled as a true story shows how non muslims are indoctrinated by love jihad and join the global mission of islamic state uh, based on this um, uh, this uh, claims were not supported by reliable data and with political promotions actual manipulations invoking uh, this actually highlighted uh, text needs more explanation with the con- constraints of times i am only saying this specific uh, elements of communalism that a film is consisted to create communalism like political promotion a film is promoted uh, to for st- uh, electoral strategy factual manipulation invoking conspiracy theories historical weaponizations like uh, sometimes barangazeb will be uh, referred to say that uh, f- to create a otherization and uh, uh, to establish other uh, uh, conspiracy theories like lab jihad and appreciation with all especially in the Thank kerala you. history even and these kinds of uh, bad elements were included to spread communalism and with this uh, uh, my conclusion is that one more minute sir uh, with the, my conclusion is that uh, the media representation of islam uh, and muslims uh, in india not only in india across the world is very uh, pathetic now it is because uh, islam uh, they are only unleashing islamophobia and mis- uh, misrepresenting the uh, muslim community while gaining institutional promotion and this uh, menaces should be eliminated with uh, institutional escapes and governmental uh, inter inter uh, blockades and uh, with this i conclude my Uh, presentation thank you moderator and all other dignitaries in this presentation thank you very much
Thank you, Rich Muhammad Saleh Mondal, for your insightful presentation and uh, <laughs> explaining how film is used to promote communalism by extremists, uh, especially in India, and explaining the case study uh, as a case study, uh, taking this Kerala story as a model or case study for this presentation, and how film is used as an electoral strategy in India. Thank you very much.